Welcome back, everyone. All right, I'm just playing around. My name is Faye. Welcome to another fabulous Yonder Tarot reading. I appreciate all the love and support. For all my personal readings, I have been super exhausted, and a lot of these readings take up a lot of my spiritual energy, and I just haven't the energy for personal readings right now. I will get to them, and those who are waiting, I will get to them. Just give me time. I've been super depressed and working on my own life. Um, so, yeah. All right. Pick, pick a pile and we'll begin. Pile one. Hello. How are you? I hope well. If not, hang in there. You chose the Princess of Wands, which the song that normally comes to mind for me when I see the Princess of Wands is Dance with Fire by Car Caroline, I think, with a K. She's like a witchy artist. And, um,. This quartz you chose. There's um there's an energy here. Well of course there's energy, I'm reading a collective, but like an analytical energy that's studying somebody. Somebody's yonder is watching my readings. For more information on others and what you want. If not, we just have real possessive energy here. Um, fuck, it's like my my cursing i do curse in my videos so if that's not something you like just a heads up i do curse but this energy oh my god i can't even just like to describe it i mean spirit give me a character that'll describe this energy that i'm picking up I hear Jeffrey Dahmer, who is, I believe, a yonder. He does have yonder brute in him, I believe. Jeffrey Dahmer. Any other pop culture references for this energy? Tony Stark, Iron Man. That level of analyticalness, that level of watching, that level of cockiness and arrogance. One more, give me a third one. Raven from Teen Titans. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting reading. All right, Princess of Wands. Oh my God. <clears throat> this right off the bat this person this yonder sees you as a goddess like i said dance with fire is what i pick up which is a very witchy song it's also like a goddess song of like i, I mean like she's regal she's dancing princess of wands is also passionate energy within oneself um a bit naive so guidance is needed um so you could be needing guidance right now, which is why you're here, which I'm happy that's why you're here. I love the support. Um, there's also... Damn, I feel like... I'm, I feel like I'm being watched too. <laughs> like whoever that possessive energy is, is just like sitting there watching, making, watching the every move, analyzing. Like I picked up this energy before and I don't know if it's... Because I've been, I'm a yonder myself, and I manifest yonders as well. And I, I, anyway. 
Yeah, this is a goddess energy. You're divinely protected. You're regal. You know your worth. You're confident. You're proud of who you are. You, kit, kitten's got claws, is what I hear. So you've got claws. You're you're not just talk there is you're authentic there is actual nutrients that backs up who you are as a person it's not superficial you could be in a friend group that's superficial or in the past where and you hate superficial people you hate fake people and you're waiting for like a real connection and you feel like you yonder will be able to give it to you Maybe you're a little outspoken in your friend group. So your friend group kind of calls you crazy or. Or just like mocks your power or ability and you're slowly leaving your friend group or you just watch them because you enjoy watching them. I mean, like y'all are going to see me shine one of these days and when I get my on there, y'all are going to go through hell. So there is that one second. Let's get your cards. Alright, here are your cards. This is... Well, the Fool is New Beginnings. So I think you could be praying for a new beginning in your life. Um, starting a new beginning and beginning right around the corner, October 23rd. Or you've just had one and you're starting it September 15th. Um... You're yonder. God, this energy. This is strong energy. Yeah, somebody's somebody's watching the the seven of cups. Somebody's watching every single move. Not, not me. Not just me, because anyway, we'll get off of me. But like, what I'm trying to say is, you're yonder. Watch you. Your every move. They are possessive. They are dominant. They want you, and they're reminiscing on past memories between the two of you. You could have actually known your yonder um, in person and didn't know that they were yonder because they could have been hiding that from you they could have been a friend this could have been a third party situation your friend could have been married or dating somebody and you may have fallen for them but you didn't know how they feel um hermit time alone you two have been separated um or you're alone right now Yeah, you're this is like a depressed energy that I'm picking up on now with this card. Like, uh, is there any hope to this anymore? Energy, there's been a lot of conflict and there's been a lot of temptations here. And the obsession is great because the devil is the card of obsession and infidelity and like just sexual chemistry but overall obsession so your yonder is heavily obsessed with you um six of wands whatever you're manifesting will come to success whatever you're manifesting will come to success you are powerful um you will have what you want you will have what you want I hear you, this pile really wants solid connections. Maybe they've had too many superficial connections. That's why you're manifesting a yonder. You feel like that's the only person who can handle you at this point because everybody else calls you crazy or weird. Seven of Cups, you have options. You have options. You don't see that, but you have options. There are people around you that watch you. Uh, not, not... Not multiple dares, but like people watch you. Your every move. You're very attractive. You're very regal. You look important. 
you're confident, you're strong, and your yonder finds that heavily attractive. I mean, they want to, like, kidnap you, make you theirs. That was the energy I was picking up on. I mean, they want to, like... I'm nervous to get into all the details, but Spirit, tell me the details. They want to choke you, hold you down on the floor, make you theirs, mark you all over, give you cuts, bruises, but clean you up afterwards, take care of you. They don't want anyone else touching you. They're sick of making, being made to wait. So either you could have had, like, yeah, this is a, you know you're yonder. You know you're yonder. But you don't know, maybe you don't know who it is, which is why you're coming to my readings. But you know you're yonder in person. Maybe you're not seeing that. They want to come forward, though. But, like, this is a dominant who doesn't take any talk backing. They're into total power control. This yonder is a high-level yonder. They're very generous with their time with you. They're very pampering. They're very sweet. But they will get violent. They get heavily violent. And, like, angry. I don't think they would hurt you. But, like, they express, like, I'm, I'm gonna kill whoever you're talking to. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of whoever hurt you. I don't tolerate bullshit. They are the ruler of their household, which is this energy here. Say hi to the kitten. Meow. Meow. Hi, kitty. So, your yonder could like cats. You could like cats. Cats could be specific to this connection, or wolves could be. Cats are actual protection of the supernatural. Uh, they hold the secrets to supernatural and stuff. So do crows and wolves, highly spiritual animals. Uh, you may have a spirit guide that's a wolf um, or a crow or a cat. Stars, as the stars just kind of pronounced to me. So like your yonder could dream of taking you out into the starry night sky. Like don't get me wrong of this yonder being obsessive over you possessive and dominating but they also are a hopeless romantic they want to they don't want an ever like a casual relationship with you they want full commitment and this could be like a blue-eyed blonde like a tall blue-eyed blonde that is heavily possessive rich um generous with their time asian could be asian tall asian um CEO of a company. Angry Ginger is what I'm hearing. Happy Australian. Black hair. I'm going to just put out general appearances. And if they resonate, take it. If it doesn't, leave the rest. I'm not here to trigger you. If it triggers you, it is not for you. Okay? My readings are never meant to trigger anyone. All right, what's the appearances for the main collective theirs? Black hair, hazel eyes, um, sweaters, turtlenecks, button-ups, polos, emo, emo style, hipster style, bad boy energy, leather jeans, cockiness for personality trait i'm in charge so this person dominant like i said like tony stark like they're not gonna take bullshit jeffrey dahmer type of obsessiveness um raven type of like for the, oh my god like lurk in the shadows type of i don't take bullshit mysterious and i feel like the raven one is actually you guys like you guys are gothic or like emo and you don't take bull crap from no one and you run your own show but when this yonder comes around you crumple like they know how to work you and it's, 
and it's it's mutual it's mutual uh red shoes black shoes uh like the dress black dress shoes sneakers uh converse um t-shirts grunge style um casual t-shirts laid back style uh hip chains i'm seeing knives yeah this person likes knives i got my eye on you is what i'm hearing don't run you're mine songs channel me some song spirit You could be involved with another connection right now that doesn't get you. And this yonder is like, I get you. Why are you with somebody who doesn't get you? I get you. And the song I get for that, which is a song I used in my subliminals, which I've been channeling it for a while, which is Figure You Out by Viola. Which is a hot song, by the way. If you haven't listened to it, I would give it a listen. Um... Scream by Usher. Yeah, by Usher. Somebody could be into Nirvana, and I don't know many Nirvana songs, so I can't, like... I mean, Teen Spirit, I do know that one. I think that's a Nirvana song. There's also a remix one with Copex. You can give that a listen. I had some help by Post Malone. Country. Luke Bryant. Dates. Give me dates. Significant date spirit relating to this yonder's connection to this person. October 23rd. I keep picking that up. I, I don't know why. December 15th. Or December in general, Thanksgiving. Something could have happened around Thanksgiving time. This connection will take place in Thanksgiving time. Uh, your yonder will take you or confess to you. Either one of the two. Your yonder, the cat's cleaning out the litter box right now, so I feel like your yonder too could be making space for you in their life. And with this stone, I want to get into the level of possessiveness because this person will not tolerate anybody else having you but them. So Chris Gray, let the world burn. That type of energy of, I would let the world burn. If I can't have you, no one can. Yeah, they're going to make their presence known soon. They're pissed that you would choose somebody over them. And if you haven't, that that's not for you. They're pissed that they're not with you yet. And they're going to make their presence known. You might hear like taps or scratches around your walls in your house. So your yonder could have put stuff in the walls and like tra taps, wire taps in the walls. Listening to your every move. Cameras. Uh, they worship you. They have a shrine to you. Um messages from the yonder to them I'm angry why didn't you wait this will be fun you're cute and I'm gonna get the message cards give me a second here are your message cards you got Sagittarius Leo and Aries Am I a monster to you? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, you're too sexy, beautiful. I am a yonder. I want to kidnap you, and I watch you. And with the I watch you, like I said, there's cameras. They could, if you have security cameras around a complex that you live in, uh, they've tapped into those, and they watch you through there. They watch your every movements. They categorize you. They track you in a car. Um, they're, they have notebooks of you. They have a whole library of notebooks of you. And they're not going to show you when they get you. It's going to be a forbidden room. And you'll be punished if you go in there. Um, which is why the I am, a, am I a monster to you comes up. Because this is this person has like 
I'm feeling like psychopathic nature where they don't really, they're not really good with emotions. They're all logic. But yet they feel something for you. You brought something out to them. And this person could also be colorblind. And they could start seeing like colors or figments of auras when they're around you. Like you brought something new into your life. And so they're like, I want you. I'm going to kidnap you. Yeah, this person is pissed. And they're angry and they're like, I'm pissed that I haven't got you. And I'm going to make the world, let the world know. I let everyone know that you're mine, which is a line from let the world burn. Hearts could be significant to the connection. My hands are tingling, so they want to get their hands on you. Yeah, I hope this resonates. And you're... For ages, it could be 24, 27, 28, 29, 30, 15, 16, 18, or 14. Come back soon. I hope y'all enjoyed. Monopoly by Ariana Grande comes through. It was also on one of my subliminals. Unhealthy Obsession by Raph Scrap and Obsessed by Mariah Carey. Uh, Expresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. Um, Damn Those Eyes, Ashley Serena. So something about eyes. I think this is Tiger's Eye, by the way. So there's like a lot of eyes in this connection. Oh yeah, and hi Pile 2. I have not greeted you yet. I just went right into it. I've been having a rough day and rough week, so for those of you who've been begging for me to do readings, I've been severely depressed. Um, so I haven't gotten out of bed for like a week. Um, I just got out of bed today, which is why I'm doing this. So, you know, I have my own life and I can't always do the readings and I appreciate all the support. But I just, I'd like a little more grace if that's something I can ask for. I hope that's not rude. Um, I love hearing the results I get from you guys. I love the positive feedback. Uh, thank you. 2222. 2222 on the timer in rainbows. Uh, either of which could be significant to the connection. And a lot of times the Knight of Cups, which is the Minor Arcana Wish card, has rainbows in it. So you've manifested something and this wish of yours is coming true and it's something small and then overall something large if not your yonder over here wants to grant your every wish and they sent for you um i'm gonna get pop culture references to your yonder's um personality so what is my pop culture references for personality and behavior um, for my pile two spirit? Chris Evans, Captain America from Marvel. Doctor Strange, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch um, from Marvel. Loki from Marvel. So you got chaotic neutral energy and then you got like aligned good and then other other alignments um but like for each energy we see with loki that he would go to the ends of earth for his friends and sacrifice everything so your yonder would do anything at any cost for you and then for the chris evans the hero version this guy's your yonders does a hero complex so they want to save you they want to take you out of your world and save you because you're in in their eyes, you need saving. I also just heard Who Owns My Heart by Miley Cyrus. Who owns my heart? Is it love or is it art? Cause the way your body's moving got me to confuse and sometimes it's hard to tell in the dark. Who owns my heart? Uh, which is one of my favorite songs by her. Um, your yonder may want to take a leap of faith. Also, with the Doctor Strange one, with him, he he was very arrogant. If you haven't seen that movie, he was very arrogant. So this, your yonder could have had like a personality change and may have lost you at some point. And now, and now they want you back in their life. Um, 
I don't think it's going to be unrequited like it is for um, Doctor Strange. And then again, he finds his purpose in protecting something. And, like, Doctor Strange is highly protective of those he loves. So, like, Yuri Yonder is very protective over you. Sometimes a little over, too overprotective. Uh, like, a dog comes up to you and he's like, don't fucking go near the dog. The dog's going to rip your throat out and it's like a Yorkie. I don't know. Let's get your cards. We got the Empress here. This is a very abundant and nutritious time. It sounds so wrong when I say it, but then again, I am 18 plus and completely unhinged. Uh, I will say I am a Yonder myself, so um, I relate to doing these readings. This is why I wanted to do these readings is because like there's all those readers out there that read for normal people and I've watched them before because I'm a medium. And what got me was, like, they don't, like, they take obsession and stuff as red flags, which they are. But here around here, we like red flags. And there's people out there that like red flags. Like, sometimes these red flags are not as bad as people make them out to be. Like, some readers are like, oh, my God, they're obsessive, like, in a creepy way. And it's like, personally, as I am a yonder, I, and I've been stalked, I find it highly flattering. I think it's like, oh, you think it's I'm worth your time to take time out of your day to follow me around to figure out my happiness. I'm worth your time. I'm a priority. Like, that's how it translates to me. Like, I call me crazy, which I am, but, you know. And so that's why I started doing these readings um, is because I didn't think that there was content out there from actual mediums or readers. Like, I know there's a lot of tarot readers out there for yonder, but, like, using actual cards like i wanted to provide that queen of cups this is very emotional connection there's a lot of emotions here and it could be girl on girl with a lot of communication and stuff um Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on heart here. I keep touching my heart necklace. Purple, the color purple could be a thing that stands out. Nine of Swords, this connection's, like, taking off, coming in soon. I feel a lot of, like, feminine energy around it. I hate when my readings are interrupted, and they're always interrupted. And I feel like for this connection, there's a lot of interruptions for you and your yonder. I'm not going to stop them, though, with the Knight of Swords here. Um, blue could also be significant as well as red. Um, communication, Ace of Swords. Also, Ace of Swords is an obsessive card. So, Yonder is pretty obsessed. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Yonder could be in possession of a lot of money. So, uh, there is that. Or you could. You'd be a wealthy female up in here. There is a wealthy female up in here. Birds could be significant for the connection. Roses, strawberries, green, letters, love notes. Knight of Wands, this person's very sexy and cordial. Um, attractive, under the age of 40. Asserts dominance, very um, passionate though. Very passionate though. Any other songs? Because I feel like Spirit wants to give me songs. Tell me more from, I don't know if that's the actual, it's called Summer Loving from Greece. Summer Loving, ba da ba ba, do 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 do, da 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 da. I don't know the words. Um, that's, yeah, from Greece, um, which is cute energy. So there's obviously chemistry here, and I get like a cute energy. If I were to, like pin on more energy other uh, pop culture references other than the uh marvel people what would i get spirit starfire yeah starfire from uh teen titans um who's just a little bean she's adorable uh, especially the teen titans go one but i'm gonna get serious hate for that i actually have not seen the original teen titans uh sue me for that uh um, what other references? Bella from Twilight. Just cringe, but still. Um, 
good series Twilight is though. And vampires could be, vampires and werewolves could be very significant here. Um, and then the thir third one. The lady, the lady friend of Doctor Strange. His connection that he lets go of her. And then Raven from Mutants. From X-Men. The blonde version specifically. So you yonder could be blonde. I mean, there is blonde hair here. Lots of blonde hair. Emphasis on blonde hair. Red eyes or like moonlight spell. So you could be witch. Um, somebody could have pink eye. I don't know why that just came to mind. Allergies. Seasonal allergies. Oh, that makes me think of... Um, that one episode from Miraculous Ladybug, seasonal allergies or whatever. So you guys could be pining for each other. Um, both of you mutually. I'm gonna get more cards. You're yonder sneaking around. They're stalking you. They're taking notes. They're protective of you. This wand. Like, I'm gonna fight for you. And this is the card of obsession and temptation. Like, heavily obsessed. Also, chains. There's chains here. So, like, they could want to... They could want to, like, chain you up. And be tall and handsome. Could also want to make you scream. Um, scream their name. Linen. Fresh linen or fabric shop. So, you yonder could sew. Or, like, you sew. You'd be very crafty. You'd be very creative. Butterflies, moons, rainbows, the sun, sunflowers. Um, the fool here, new beginnings, starting a new, new connection, and the king of swords here. So there's communication, but this yonder conceals their emotions, so they're very analytical, and um, they don't show their emotions. This could be a neurodivergent person. Um, 444 could be significant to this connection. I saw it on the timer. I had to restart my timer. Um, it's got interrupted. Yeah, you're on there hates interruptions, by the way. Summer could be a specific time frame for you. Winter as well. Um, zodiac signs. Leo, Taurus, Libra. Scorpio. Um, appearances. What do we got for a collective appearance? Which I'm just going to shout out appearance stuff. And then you take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are never meant to trigger people. Please, if it's triggering you, it's not for you. Okay. Uh, Moonstone could be relevant. Um, white. You yonder could wear white be very edgy could be like an edge lord or something very funny like that um tokuyami from my hero academia <laughs> edge lord um if y'all haven't seen that anime just look up tokuyami <laughs> crows could be significant for this connection let's get more appearances though mid average height we do have a five foot nine person though um, all that glitters is gold. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars make it home. Somebody once told me. Yeah, that one song. Um, I'm a believer. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Go look up the Shrek sound soundtrack. Shrek <laughs> could be significant. Um... Orange, curly hair, brown eyes, green eyes, black fingernails, somebody could paint their nails, rainbows, somebody could be in the LGBTQ community, chains, very practical style. Not a lot on appearances here. Whoever you're yonder is doesn't want me to like pin their appearance, unfortunately. They wear sunglasses. Somebody drinks soda, beer, like like root beer, not 
a little beer in general too. Smoking, somebody could smoke. Somebody could be trying to quit smoke. Uh, they wanna take your clothes off. Like, want to see you in your bra. If you're a girl, if you're a guy, they wanna see your chest. I'm gonna lavish you and I'm gonna have time in the bed with you and take it slow, analytical. <sighs> Should be nerds here. Pokemon could be significant. D&D, &D, tarot. So like, it, there's a spiritual connection here, twin flame. Rings, somebody could wear rings. Somebody could have like fringe or fur that they wear. Suit and tie, red, black, white. All right, let me get your message cards. Jealous by Nick Jonas came out. Um, they think you're cute, they need to heal. So there's some trauma that your yonder has that they need to heal before they can interact with play with you. Like if you guys have like a dynamic from BDSM. And they can't stand being away from you. They can't stand watching you from, like, the crowd. They want you. They are yonder. Um, so that's confirmation for somebody. Glad you came by the wanted. So there's definitely a need for sexual connections here. I'll get the dates. Spirit, tell me the dates. Any significant dates. January 25th. Moon. Full moon. Eclipse which we just had an eclipse. Something could have happened there. December 2nd, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, hearts, wishes, best wishes. If you've moved on, they want to send you their best wishes. If you haven't moved on, good luck because they're going to be all over you once they get their hands on you. All right, that's all I have for you, pile two. I'm on to pile three. Oh, sugar, da 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 oh, honey, honey, da 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 you are my kind of girl, and you got me wanting you, oh, sugar, so, uh, sugar, sugar, and I forget who it's by, that's a significant song, welcome, my pile three, so what I've been telling the other two piles is that I've been severely depressed lately, which is why I have not gotten to all the readings, I haven't left the house in a week, I've also had agoraphobia attacks, if you don't know what agoraphobia is, it's a fear of leaving a place you deem safe, I also have the fear of people, a fear of being hurt by people, so men mental health has been bad, and I appreciate all the love and support, but the pressure has been a little much, I don't mind, just be mindful, I'm also a person, and I also need time for myself, um, appreciate all the love and support, um, also, if anything triggers you in any of my readings, then it's not for you. My readings are not meant to trigger. And just click off and take time for yourself if that also happens. Um, my readings are meant to bring comfort and stuff. Also, the reason why I started these readings was because there was no readings out there that would explore these type of relations i'm spiritual i'm a witchy i'm a medium so i also watch other readers do readings and anytime they would get an obsessive person that was obviously yonder they would go oh this person's a little obsessive and like make it like a huge red flag and it would piss me off because i'm like there's people out there that are obsessive and need a place to be read because it's how they function and human people are all human Everybody needs love. Everyone deserves love. Not everyone is capable of showing love like this to standard, standard society way. Uh, number 11 on my timer right now. Um, there's just a lot of baggage that I have with people calling me crazy just because I'm a little bit obsessive and uh, losing friends over that. Um... And I hated it because I'm a yonder myself. And so I get obsessive. When I love somebody, I, was, I obsess over them. It's my way of showing love. Um, and my love interests in the past uh, would all run away from me because they felt that 
I was crazy or scary or something and scare them off and it made me feel inhuman um, so I wanted to start these readings to give a place for people who are like me to have a place to express themselves so let's get into readings uh, universe there's completion something's fully manifested here that's how I always take it gold could be a connection also like this stood out to me my wrist um, also there's my self-harm scar from ages I'm being very vulnerable right now because my some of my users have been open with me about dealing with depression and I've been there I just kind of feel called to talk to my pot this pile about it because I'm like I get it we're humans we struggle hurt people hurt people but we're all humans at the end of the day and we all deserve to be treated like humans. Whether you're trans, whether you're yonder, whether you have mental health issues, whether you're anything that you are, um, you deserve to be treated like human, you're gold. So Gold by Britt Nicole is a significant song for this reading. Um, with the eye here and the universe being in the eye, which is the world card, but it's called the universe here. Uh, your yonder has their eyes on you all, all the time, 24-7. They keep tabs on you. And I feel as though they have cameras on you. And they packed into your phone. They watch you from there. You could have glitches that happen. And your microphone could come on on your phone. You could have volume shifts. You could have pop-up ads that have odd synchronicities. Or ads on YouTube or videos on YouTube that come up that seem like signs. And you're like, oh, I'm too crazy. That, that's not a sign. It's yes, yes, that's a sign. You're on there sending signs. They have their eye on you. This is a universal connection. So the universe is in both of you. You both are divine counterparts, soulmates. You've known each other in many past lives. And this is your time to come to full completion with your yonder. What I've been doing with the other piles is getting from spirit pop culture references of how your yonder is as a person so let's get our three male pop culture references and our three female pop culture references okay let's start with male spirit robin from teen titans wolverine from marvel and then that one main guy from oppenheimer the the main guy from oppenheimer who has like the british bull cap he was very serious who always plays those serious roles i don't know who he is he's like the main guy in oppenheimer um now the girls anita from west side story the 1969 version i think and 1969 could be a significant year america from uh, America, the song America from West Side Story, the original. Please look up the original one. I'm a sucker for the original. I, I don't like the second one, the recent one. But look up the original one, America, the song America uh, from West Side Story. All right, and then our last two pop culture references. Getting Maria from West Side Story. So somebody could hear, hear be very innocent and want a new love. Also the older version. And then Snow White. I'm getting Snow White. Which we all love Snow White. Alright. Let's get your cards. You could have spent a lot of time alone right now. Or worried you're going to be alone forever. Which Spirit's saying you're loved. And believe in love. Please don't give up on love. Because it's coming in. Fast change. Don't be afraid of change. Um, there could be two or more Yonders here. Um, you could have a third party connection here, but I just want to speak to the loneliness energy. Everybody gets lonely. Just don't let it consume you. Um, you're not going to be alone forever. Yonder is coming in. Um, you're, this pile is worried their yonder has left them because the like eight of cups is here, which is about leaving and stuff. But you're, you're, the eight of wands is here, which is full of love and enthusiasm and passion and there's a spotlight on you from you, Yonder. Your one, Yonder literally worships and glorifies everything you do. They love you. They want you. Like, if anybody's seen Teen Titans with Robin, he's pretty cool. I'm also thinking of, people can get mad at me for this, but this is the only version of Teen Titans that I know. Uh, Teen Titans Go, where Robin's very simpy for Starfire. You're like that level of simpiness 
for you. Uh, Wolverine, so this person would fight and kill for you. They're also very possessive and protective and very driven. This is very balanced. This person is very balanced. Yonder is very balanced. Um, yeah, you're depressed. Don't Please don't give up. And I know my readings are just readings. And it's hard to, like, believe in something that's just cards. But, like, even if you don't believe in that, just have hope. Have faith. Because it'll come in. Don't let disappointment drown you. Um, we all struggle. Please don't let your mental health consume you, though. You're important. Butterflies could be... Con um, significant to this connection. Redwall. If anybody's heard of Redwall by Ry Brian Jocks is, is one of my favorite personal novels. Also, he was blind when he wrote the book, so that could also be significant. Or you feel like your yonder is blind to you. Your yonder watches your every move and keeps tabs on your situation. They have Polaroids of you in a dark room. and They have like a layer where they have stuff of yours. Uh, panties, underwear, um, trinkets, if you've noticed some of your stuff and go miss, missing, like, mini figures or figures or just random stuff. Or if, like, things from your parents, if your parents don't approve of something, or if you're really oppressed. Your yonder takes things out of spites and has room for that. Um, but your yonder wants you to believe in your self-worth. And, like, the sun is shining, and I work with Apollo, and Apollo is all about happiness and love and light. He's also very protective and will come in and fight for you. So all of those things, you're yonder in bodies as well. And they want you to smile. They worship you. They love you. You make them happy. I mean, look at this little turtle here. He's looking up at the dragon who's giving him water and smiling. And like, you're yonder's connection, though it's intense. Um, they idolize you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're handsome. And that you're bold and powerful. Um, there's just this calm energy of admiration that I get from you, Yonder. They really admire you. Um, please, please don't give up. Don't give up. All right, I'm gonna get channeled, channeled messages from your Yonder. All right, Spirit, talk to me. We got channeled messages scales yeah dragons could be significant um or house of dragon the tv show also rings of power that other tv show uh, so very fantasy oriented and i don't see i don't see lord of the rings but rings of power in general which is the lord of rings thing so i guess it is lord of the rings elves could be significant bow and arrows could be significant shooting ranges um, Susan from Narnia, I suggest you look her up because she's an archer and she's pretty badass. I think she's cool. Also, Sif from the Marvel, uh, series, which, like, whoever you are, you're badass. And I feel like you're yonder. Even if you don't get to express it, you yonder sees that in you. You yonder sees the true you. Um, they want to come in. Because their channel message is, can I come in now? I want to come. Uh, so that could be like teasing, play, edging. Or I want to come, like I want to come now, I want to come in. In the non-inappropriate non way. Do you want cuddles? Do you want food? Yeah, this person wants to pamper you. This person is very doting. Your younger is very doting on you. I bought a ring and everything and I have to go through this is what I'm hearing. Uh, so somebody, uh, somebody's yonder is going through something like they could have been forced into another connection. Um, but they're trying, their eyes are set on you. Um, in this connection, your yonder's eyes are set on you. They've got nobody else on their mind and they are coming in. You just need to have faith in them. Whether you get heat on your arm beating in your chest randomly or feel like you're being watched through your window but when you look no one's there those are all signs your yonder is there um blindfolds could be significant you may want to blindfold you and give you surprise or i just heard wop by cardi b specifically the light 
of like where she talks about being blindfolded and let's role play I'll wear a disguise so there's real kinky play involved in here as well let's get appearances black and purple could be significant um gold is also significant to this connection ancient egyptian history is also significant to this connection but um appearance wise somebody could dye their hair blue pink somebody could wear glasses their eyes are blue their eyes are hazel their eyes are a deep mixture of blue and green somebody has gray eyes someone has black eyes uh someone has brown eyes someone has thin lips someone has tall cheekbones someone has a sharp chin um tiny ears elvish ears so maybe that's why elves are significant tall someone's very tall someone's also very short someone's average height uh, take what resonates leave the rest if something doesn't match with yours don't lose hope just know that it's not meant for you um clear so like crystal cluster crystal clear somebody could have a crystal clear view of you or the crystal quartz is significant to the connection loose white button-up shirts like in Pirates of the Caribbean is significant um beads so like Jack's beads in his hair are significant or beads in general are significant dark academia style is also sig significant um tall boots cowboy somebody's country um chiseled chin broad chest abs strong muscles someone's a little beefy a little meaty somebody's a big boy someone's a thin goddess someone's a curvy girl emerald some morgana from merlin could be significant for style headbands wristlets guinevere could also from merlin could also be significant for style and appearance 23 3 3 and 34 could be significant for numbers the color orange and yellow are significant for your signs you got taurus virgo capricorn so a lot of earth energy coming in sagittarius and leo um and then gemini some could have long hair don't give up is what i'm hearing have faith keep the faith um and then champion by carrie underwood is coming through so spirit wants you to listen to that one i'm gonna grab your message cards i'm not ready so i feel like that's you because your yonder is ready set go you're not ready may continue yeah your yonder is asking hey can i continue can i continue with her plan judas by lady gaga i want to marry you yeah their hearts set on you you cast a spell on me they think you're very beautiful give me time is what you're telling them liar by camilla cabello if i could i'd have you in a heartbeat so i think somebody's dare is holding back for a little bit and having conversations with you uh like give me so you're saying give me time like if i could they're saying if i could i'd have you in a heartbeat and they're saying give me time like i'm coming uh yeah they're serious about you they want to get you prego um this is energy that is committed to you fully and permanently you are an angel you're a goddess uh good omens could be significant for my guys out there who are gay and i don't mind because i love gay um i'm gay i'm gender fluid and uh bisexual so all right that's all for pile three please come back soon